At UW Stevens Point, I played both baseball as well as football. I grew up in Janesville. The football coach, Monty Charles, came to our school and talked to myself and as well as a couple other guys and recruited us. And then baseball too, we had a lot of success. Coach Clark was tremendous. One of the things that I learned here was I want to be part of a team. I want to be part of a team here. I want to be part of a team there. And if you want to be a good teammate, you got to play your role, whatever role that might be. The tradition that we've been able to establish here at UW-Stevens Point of putting student athletes into the professional ranks is truly remarkable and in some ways unprecedented at the NCAA Division III level. Dan is absolutely part of that history. You know, to, to think about the impact that he had in the NBA, certainly with the organizations he worked with in Detroit and Philadelphia, you know, to think he had his start right here at Stevens Point as a, as a pointer and as an athlete, and, and that got into his blood and stayed into his blood, it is tremendous and something we're certainly proud of. I was so blessed to be a part of one championship plus more. Well, with the NBA, I was blessed to be three times. And then also we were, we owned the Tampa Bay Lightning, so one Stanley Cup championship. And then also our teams, uh, we had won three times of the WNBA. It was really cool too. The opportunity to have seven championship rings at the professional level, um, that's a, that's a remarkable feat for anybody. Um, you know, so, so the work that he did with the Detroit organization and the success that they had at that time really is unparalleled. That point ring's just as important to me as the rest of those because that ring represented playing five years of football, four years of baseball, and being a part of something in a great university that I loved. Um, so that ring just meant just as much to me as those championship rings. Monty Charles changed football. He and another person in Northern Illinois were the first ones that started the shotgun and eventually turned in to be the spread formation, which is today the, the big offenses that they have. They were doing this before anybody else was even thinking of it. So I was fortunate to play for somebody like that. I have young people ask me about internships and they say, well, what should I do? And I say, well, first of all, I will never tell you what to do. I said, but the second thing is, just go try something. And if you like it, great. If you don't like it, that might be the best internship that you ever had because you found out what you didn't like as much as what you like. And that's kind of my story. My degrees in business education, I student taught, and I said, I don't really like this. After four years and you go, oops, now what am I gonna do? I found a different profession and I was so blessed. Someone gave me great advice when I was young. John Steinmiller with the Bucks said to me, he said, you know, go somewhere where it's growing. And it's, it was the greatest advice anybody could have ever given me because I went to Detroit and they had just moved to the Pontiac Silverdome and they were growing. And with growth comes opportunity. The, the people who really understand the success in sport organizations understand that the culture starts from the top. And you'll hear professional athletes say that quite often, that the organization, the organization, well, the organization is the executives. Um, and Dan was one of those folks that helped create an organization that was conducive to being successful. And when you can do that, magical things happen. And, and um, clearly he's been able to do that along with his executive teams. Terry Porter uh, was an assistant coach with the Pistons for a while. So I was able to get to know get to know him because I knew who he was back to the point days. I had amazing respect for him and what he had accomplished coming from a Division III school, playing against Michael Jordan. Terry was a great player, but even a better person. And I'm so happy that he came from our university. You may come in on the front end to play baseball or play football, but you leave a better person. And, and that, that's because of the hundreds of hours you spend with your teammates, the hundreds of hours you spend with your coaches. You leave, it, you leave with a major in how to be a great human being. Dan's journey to do that in two sports with two sets of teammates, to think about the time commitment that it takes to be not only a football player, but to be a baseball player and to be an education major. You know, to put those three things and then to put them together and to do that at the level of success that he was able to have is remarkable.